I'm gonna do a trout fishing video, I promise. But when we wake up and the conditions are this right for red fishing in Texas, I can't help but do it. That's my main love is the redfish. So we've done the Louisiana videos, now we're gonna come to Texas and see if the same methods that, that I showed you in Louisiana work. And uh, there they are. Oh, and the first thing we see that there, ladies and gentlemen, is a huge school of redfish. Now, it may be hard for, for some of you to kind of pick it out, but what you're looking at is these waves right in here. They're pushes that are going opposite of the way the wind and the current are making the waves go the other way. So my man Robert here is going to cast out there. There you go, that should be in them. Quiet feet, Steve. There he is. Can you? Oh, it's not a baby. Oh, that's a good way to break a rod, folks. <laughs> God, dug it. Hey guys, how's that for an intro? We're going red fishing. Oh, look, there's a school of redfish. Let's catch, let's catch a hammer. Look at him, look at him, Caleb. See yeah. if you can get him on camera. Here we go. That, folks, is what you're looking at. That is a school of hammers, folks. Come on, baby. This is a tournament fish right here. They literally don't do it. Any better. Yes, sir. Than that. Steve's going to give him some kisses. Short, heavy big football it's a good one and hey so i know we've done the louisiana marsh i know that you guys are looking at it like oh man you know that looks cool that looks fun that's not something that i can do these are this is this, we're, we're bay fishing just like y'all do we're, we're bay fishing but we're applying the same principles that i showed you and taught you over there it's really not any different just a different area of water maybe a little different area just method of thinking that's all it is look at that fish monster. Moment of truth. Let's see how long he is. Look at that. That folks is a 27 inch. Nine and a quarter pound redfish. Nine plus pound redfish. Yeah. This is why I couldn't trout fish this morning. I'm sorry. I want to go throw some mirror dines. I want to go throw some soft dines. I really do. But this, come on. School, school of redfish just blew up again right behind us so yeah yeah so it's gonna be it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a good day very excited to have you here the camera guy on top water there go. Robert decided to bring my favorite trout rod out to throw top waters at 10 pound redfish well, it was all I had top water tied on at the time, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh. Here's another big point uh, clue for you guys. These shore birds walking along, picking along. There can often be a school of redfish real close to them. Oh, come on. Good fish. Now, top waters, you have to kind of give them a little bit more drag and finesse them a little bit more. The they hooks will, will straighten out, they will come out of their mouth. Very good. 
Alan's heavier than your last one, Robert. Could have put a bug in his mouth. As y'all can see, absolutely murdered at top water. And that is another beautiful redfish. Pretty big. And fishes. There's 11 on there. Might be a little bit over on the check it stick, but we're gonna look. I don't think it might, I don't, I don't think it's a mite, but maybe. Hey, those blow ups. Looked like it wasn't very big, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Pew, pew. <laughs> wow. Don't ever set the hook until you fill and pull. Couldn't stop him in time. I tried. And yeah, we just got us a nice fat, fat little redfish on Bad Marine's new spinner bait. We have a DOA plastic on it, and this little Colorado blade from Bad Marine. He uh, he didn't give much thought, did he? He just turned around and smashed it. And now if we can just get this naughty hooker jig head out of his mouth. Trolling motor. You want me to hold your rod while you get down? That's a that's actually a good fish. Got another one. Keep him quiet so we don't scare everything else. Hey guys, so I've been telling you that these spinner baits are the way to go right now with the shad and all the small bait out in the water. These fish are absolutely smashing them and I've I don't give it as much credit to the lure as I do this blade, making it look like a, a school of shad or piggy perch or you know whatever is the small flashy bait they're eating is. So this time of year, these spinner baits are the way to go. Who's winning, that fish or you? That fish is winning right now. Caleb's getting beat. Six pound red. <laughs> Six, dog. Another good fish. I don't think that's six, sir. Another big old Texas redfish. The tide kind of slowed down and our bay fish quit quit doing their thing, so we moved in some back lakes. We still can't see them, but we're working the wind. I'm throwing that bad marine spinner bait again, emulating a, a school of shad. And this one, when I caught him, wasn't much to him, but boy, when he saw the boat, he got big. And there's, that was quite a train wreck getting him in the boat. But hey, glad to have him. <laughs> 